Hi, today Keone and I are making crispy skin salmon with soy citrus sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is get right into it and we're going to prep the fish here. What I have here is a filet of salmon and of course in our stores we have big and small pieces so you can get one that fits for you. But I thought it'd be fun to just sort of cut a few pieces so that you can see what happens or how it works. But So I have a filet here and it is skin on. The thing is there are pin bones that run through here mm -hmm. and what you want to make sure is those pin bones are out. Now I've made sure that they've, they're out but what you would do is if you just run your finger along the line here if there are any they'll poke you I mean just lightly you'd feel them and then you just pull them out with a tweezer. So we're going to shoot for a six ounce, a four to six ounce portion and based on this fillet here I'm going to just cut this here to, to clean this piece off and this is something that would be a trim piece that would be I could use it for poke or something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut even pieces here with my knife. And this is a thicker side of the fillet. As I go, as it thins out, my cuts are going to start to get a little bit wider because as the, the fillet gets thinner, it gets lighter, right? So I want to make sure my portion sizes are still the same weight. Mm -hmm. Now the end piece here, I could make a, pe a portion here and then these could be, again, for poke or make salmon tartare or salmon cakes or something. But so I got one, two, three, four, five, six portions out of this. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is go into getting the fish sauteed and ready for plating. So we have our salmon piece, and the next piece is cooking the salmon. And this is the easiest salmon cooking dish <laughs> or salmon cooking technique. But the hardest part is gonna be for you n not to do anything. You're gonna wanna touch it and stuff, but the key in this dish is let it rip, okay? So, go ahead and spray a little bit of, we have a non-stick pan we're using. That's perfect. We're putting a little bit of pan spray in there just because that way it's insurance a little bit and it allows us to use less fat. Okay. And then a little bit of oil? A little bit of vegetable oil. And so why would I use both? Why couldn't I just use just the oil? You could use just the oil and it, it, when you're good at the dish, that's fine. But I'm doing it because when you do it at home for the first time, it's just a little bit of insurance to make sure nothing gets stuck. But when you get this, you get this down and you understand the heat, then you can, yeah, you can do it without. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is we're going to put the salmon skin side down in the pan. Now, the other thing that you bring up a very good point is that there's, there's fat in the skin, right? Mm. And what we're going to do is we're going to slowly cook the salmon to render the fat out, crisp up the skin but the fat is going to, as it renders out, it's also going to lend itself to the pan. So that's why you need less fat as well in the dish. Okay. Here you go. So notice Cheryl is putting it in the pan. She put it in the pan away from her. And that's what you want to do when you do it at home because that way if you had drop it and there's a splash, the splash goes away from you. So that is safety tip 2.5 for cooking <laughs> class 201. Okay. Go ahead and, now, the other thing we talk about is, 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 is cooking is, uses all of your senses, right? Mm -hmm. What's really important and what, you, what immediately happened when she put the salmon is it started to make a sizzling sound. Mm -hmm. And if you, how would you describe the rate of the sizzling right now? Fast, slow? Slow. It's slow to moderate and that's what's important because we want to cook this at a medium temperature to really crisp that skin and to get the fat rendered out. If it's going really fast, like shh, that means the temperature is too hot and you're going to burn. Now see, here's an interesting thing, is, is she's touching the pan. <laughs> and I told you guys that this is going to be the hardest thing because you don't want to touch the pan. And that's okay, that's just natural. Everyone's going to, even I did this when I was starting. But the key to, to cooking here in this particular dish is let the pan and the thing just do the work. And so what we do need to do is season though. Okay. So go ahead and season with some salt and some pepper. And I'm just seasoning the top, right? Right. Because I have to leave Right, because the... we're doing the bottom, we want to get crispy. So it sounds great, right? Mm -hmm. This is the sound you want. It's beautifully seasoned. She made sure that there's just a light coating of salt and pepper on the top. That's mm -hmm. a wonderful job. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen any cooks that I've worked with do as well seasoning as you've just done. So a plus on the seasoning. Thank now what you. we're going to do is we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get the juices ready for the sauce. And okay. this is a sauce that is sort of, it's kind of like a mock ponzu sauce. And a classic ponzu sauce has soy sauce, it has mirin, and sometimes it has sake. And it also has yuzu. And that's a, it's a citrus fruit, it's an Asian citrus fruit. It has a very exotic flavor, sort of similar to lemon and lime. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to use lemon and limes, and we're going to combine them together. Okay. And we're going to create what's called limon. Okay. Um, anyway, so one of the tricks that we do when we, when we cook to get the maximum juice out of this is you take the fruit and you put it on a hard surface, and you want to put pressure on it, and you want to roll it. And what it does is it kind of softens the fruit up, and it kind of breaks the cell walls down inside, and it allows all of the juice to come out. So now that this is nice and soft, we're going to cut it in half. And you can see that juice is really just jumping mm -hmm. out of there, right? Mm -hmm. Right here, let me cut. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. And then I have this awesome juicer that's my favorite juicer that I'm going to use. And basically, you take the, uh, the juicer, you open it, you put this face down, and then you squeeze it, and all the juice oh, that's comes out. Great. So I just need half of this. One, this is one portion, so we'll do half. You can do half. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. So now we have the lemon juice and the lime juice mixed together. And How's the salmon doing? It's look actually really looking really good. You we're, want the... we're, we're close. It's, it's halfway cooked and we're cooking from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. When it's just three quarters of the way cooked, we're going to flip it for just like 10 seconds and then we're going to take it out. Okay. So before we get to that though, we have this is some show you that we're going to add in here. So I'm going to add uh, a little bit in there. And then I'm going to ask Cheryl to taste it. Just make, is a, is a seasoning balance. See, the thing is, when you're cooking, we're always tasting because that's where we can the final adjustments. And Perfect. That's we know. Perfect. Okay. So now the sauce is ready. The salmon is cooked. You see how the bottom is all cooked and then it still is rare, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the salmon over and we're going to cook it for 20 seconds and then we're going to come back to plate. Good job. Oh, it's okay. perfect. So we've got a plate. I got some heated bok choy on here. Go ahead. You can use asparagus or whatever you want. So she's going to put the fish on here, skin side up. And now we have our sauce. And I'm going to drizzle a little bit onto the fish, but also mm. let it come off and go through the plate. And then we have some freshly made namasu that uh, we'll garnish with. So I have some here. We'll put that on the top. So this is, again, a very simple dish. We did some really simple things to it, but I think it looks like a nice restaurant presentation. That's beautiful. Yeah, so. And it was so simple. It was simple, and we just let the pan do the work. Yeah. So there you have it. Four components, five-star dining. What more could you ask for? For this great recipe and more, visit us at foodland.com.